Going. Today we're going to be talking about a bill that was recently proposed by the California State Senator John Morlatch in uh, opposition to the speed rail that was uh, that's in works. And his plan is to introduce lanes on the freeway 5 and the 99 to remove speed limits and how that will actually be a, be a better proposition for reducing greenhouse gases that are produced in California. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about the proposal and three reasons why I think it is not a good idea. So just to give a little, little bit of background on the uh, plan, it's actually uh, called SB319 if you guys want to look it up and actually read the full proposal. And the main point is to add lanes on the freeway that will actually have no speed limit. And this is kind of taking influence from the Autobahn that is in Germany, it's very well known. People actually go visit Germany for that. Uh, specific reason and they're trying to adopt that here in California as, as a solution basically to replace the speed rail that is being in the process of you know building the plans and, and uh, kind of gathering the funds to, to do. The main objective like I said earlier was to uh, to reduce congestion thus reducing idling time uh, of people's cars on streets and to also uh, reduce greenhouse gases and reduce emissions. So the first reason why I think this is not a good idea is, first and foremost, I'm not convinced that this is actually going to reduce greenhouse gases. The first point to that is, when you drive fast, you consume more gas than you would uh, driving slower. And this is obviously dependent on, on the speed you're going. When looking at your your you know highway miles rating from the EPA, your, your 31 mpg highway that you, you get with your car, that's typically tested at 55 miles an hour. And that's usually the optimal range of what cars, car manufacturers specifically design their cars to be efficient in those speeds, not at 100, 120, 130, you know, miles an hour. So the faster you go, I think, the more fuel you're going to consume. So that's one of the reasons why I don't think it's actually going to save on fuel consumption and the greenhouse gases in California. Another reason to that is a study, so since we are comparing to the German Autobahn, we'll look at what they have experienced having an Autobahn. And they stated that having cars at idle in congestion only contributes to 12% of greenhouse gas emissions in their country. So yes, California may have different numbers because we have a very different driving uh, situation here at with our freeways and our roads and our congestion, the amount of people driving. But it gives a good gauge as to how much of a percentage in relative to every other type of driving situation comes from cars idling in congestion and in traffic. Moving on to point two is safety. And I'm sure that's one of the first things that comes to everyone's mind uh, when hearing, hey, no speed limit on a, on a freeway. So from a safety standpoint, there are, there are multiple reasons why this won't be safe for us here in California compared to the Autobahn in Germany. First, being that the German Autobahn and German driver's license are way more difficult to get compared to a California or US driver's license. Their tests are more rigorous and thus they are more prepared to handle situations that they'll be driving in uh, day to day with uh, the presence of an Autobahn. In our driver's test here, we don't even go to I'll go on the freeway as part of our exam. So having a freeway with no speed limit will not help make it an easier for people to learn how to drive on freeways in, uh, in California. Second point in comparison to uh, the German Autobahn driving system is their vehicles, all vehicles in Germany are required to have annual inspections every year. So that's, that's something to ensure that your car is roadworthy, is safe for the street, and you if you don't pass that inspection, you cannot drive the car on the road until you get certain aspects of it fixed, addressed, or repaired. So that's a key reason uh, why I think we can't have that here for safety uh, purposes. So last but not least is obviously just the chances of accidents happening with people driving at high speeds. So a majority of accidents happen when you have lanes that are going at very different speeds. And having 
lanes dedicated to having no speed limit with lanes that are going to have speed limits will obviously impose the risk of uh, high accident rates and very uh, life-threatening accidents. So those are my main reasons why I think, from a safety standpoint, this idea should not really be passed. My third main point is that we can't really compare ourselves to the direction that the Autobahn is moving in. Since we're going, we're trying to go from a road with speed limits to having a path without speed limits, the German Autobahn is going the opposite direction. They're moving towards having speed limits in restricted portions, they actually already do. So if we want to compare ourselves to a country that has experienced having a street for a long amount of a long duration of time without any speed limit, we really need to look at what they're doing now about that. In addition, their road conditions are way better than what we have here in California. So to add to the safety factor, if you're gonna hit a pothole or an imperfection in the road at 120 miles an hour, it is a lot less safe for the vehicle in comparison to driving at 65, 70 miles an hour. And last but not least is the study that they have done showing that having a speed limit has actually improved their greenhouse gas emissions. So overall, it really shows that there are safety concerns, greenhouse gas emission concerns, and ultimately logistical concerns and infrastructure concerns for us to really move forward with having this in uh, California. And I mean, yeah, if, if we were to argue with the funds we go to, that's a whole other conversation, but comment about down below. Let me know what you guys think about this and what you guys think should be done if you would have your own proposal on how to solve this uh, traffic problem we have here in California. So. That's all I have. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.